All right, now we're recording. So this is this is me showing you how to maneuver through this fly lab. That's, it's a big grade, okay? And that you can work on with your partner um, once I give you time to do that today. All right, so the document is on the left. AP Biology Lab, Genetics of Drosophila. You'll open the document, and then there's, there's directions, and here's a picture of the fly life cycle, which is nice and useful. These little fruit flies are um, really amazing to work with, and they are a famous, famous fly species. They're not big. They're actually really tiny, and they really are quite beautiful if you look at them under the microscope. The red eyes that you're seeing is how you usually find these flies in the wild. The, the usual condition of their eye color and their body and everything is what you see in the picture, and that's called the wild type. And their eyes are like little jewels if you look at them under the microscope. They're actually quite beautiful and very tiny. They're not like the big bottlenose disgusting ones that, you know, with the with the green, you know, fluorescent bodies. These are very tiny. They're, and they're exactly what you'll find uh, flying around your fruit, you know, if your, if your fruit is left out too long. Okay, so if you go down here, this is what you click on here to get this open on the left, okay? And I already have it open, so I'm not going to do that. And it gives you a bunch of directions, but I'm going to kind of skip down to where you click your first data for your cross just to give you a clear idea of what you're doing here. So you have four different crosses that you're going to be doing, a genetic cross, right? And you're going to be asked to select a mommy parent and a daddy parent and certain characteristics and then do the cross and put the data down. So I'm going to do a little bit of this with you first so that you can see what's going on. Cross number one is crossing a single trait. Right? So remember, if you did those planet squares where all the blocks turned green, that's what you're doing here. Okay? It tells you to cross a pure breeding sepia eyed, sepia is brown eyes, uh, times a pure breeding, let me show you, pure breeding wild red eyed female. As I said, the condition in the wild or normal flies, when you find them in the wild, they have red eyes. Okay? Now, uh, there's some. Uh, because they use certain um, certain letters to designate these alleles that are a little complicated, and these come from scientific studies that other scientists have defined, um, what you're going to see over here is you're going to see that uh, some of the some of the letters that they use to designate the sepia eye versus the wild eye are a little confusing looking, which is why I want to walk you through this. Okay, uh, whenever you see a plus sign. That means you're talking about the wild type over here. If you look at this, the wild type or the wild condition of that trait is whatever is to the left here, right? So in the wild, you find eye color that is red, right? In the wild, you have antenna that are normal length. In the wild, you have wing size that are normal length and so forth. So anytime you see a plus sign, that means the wild, the wild version of that trait, okay? All right. So to select your fly parents, this is what you're going to do. You open this, and it shows you um, uh, all these different traits over here. You're not going to use them all. You just need to know how to, how to pick the ones that you need. So you're going to go to mate, and it's going to give you the opportunity to design your male and your female flies. So it said to use a wild-type female fly. So design the female. You don't have to do anything. She's already wild type. So you're going to select her just the way she is because she's already has the red eyes that you want. There, so select her. Now go over and select the male fly, the daddy fly. Okay, design him. So what you want is you want eye color to be sepia. So you're going to go over until you see the, the word sepia and you're going to select that. And then you're going to see how the eyes turn color. And then you're going to select him for mating. And now you have your two, you see how you have your mommy and daddy fly there, okay? Then you're going to mate the flies. Click mate. And now you have on the screen, you have the results of what happened when you mated. The parents are here, right? There's the mommy and daddy fly. And then the, the offspring are here. And the offspring, you will notice, both male and female have red eyes, okay? And they also give you the numbers of those offspring. Now, here's where I need to explain to you. The only time you're going to have to worry about the numbers of males versus females is if 
the cross, if the traits that you're crossing are sex linked. So the hint for that is that the only time you're going to have sex linked results, it will be obvious because you'll have different numbers of males and females with your second cross. Okay, so uh, if there's not different numbers, you don't really have to worry about separating your male numbers from your female numbers. But you won't find that out until you cross the offspring from your first cross. Okay, so first of all, I want to put down my data for this first cross. So it says female plus, that means that she has red eyes, right? She's wild type. And males are all plus. He, all the males have red eyes. There are no sepia-eyed babies that came from this cross. And if you understand how Punnett squares work, that should make sense to you. Okay? Can I just have you give me a thumbs up on the chat room if you're okay so far? I feel like I'm really going quickly here. You understand everything? Oh, good. Thank you. All right, good. Just want to make sure. Okay. So this is what you're going to do. For this first cross, you see how it says 511 females and 476 uh, males, right? So go over to your form and you're going to say, I'm going to say red eyes instead of wild type because I like to describe my trait when I'm, when I get. Yes, is there a question you can ask? Oh, no, sorry. Oh, okay. All right. So it, said, it asked me for males. So I'm going to put 476 right from the screen. And then the females is 511. There. First data entered. Right. Now I'm going to go back over here. And now I'm not finished because I need to mate them again. So I have my F1 babies, right? These were the F1 babies. Now I need to select the babies to mate with each other. Okay. So I'm going to select this baby and this baby, okay, and, and it gives me a new flies to be mated screen when I did that, see? So now I have offspring of cross number one, offspring of cross number one. That's what I want. I want to cross those offspring just like Mitchell did. He did two generations every time. That's what I'm doing. And everything's copacetic, so I say mate flies, and then I have new data on the screen, okay, to put into table two, right? So look at this. Here I have, now I have four different types of babies here. And once again, um, if you look at the data, look at how there are 128 uh, female, SE means sepia, okay? So 128 female sepia, and the, and the other females, 405 red-eyed um, uh, females, right? And then look at the male and female in terms of the, all the males and females ha have red eyes. They're about equal in number. Can you see that? This is almost 400 and this is almost 400. So there doesn't seem to be any difference between male and female. So that's a hint there, 128 and 138 in terms of sepia eyes, not really very different. So I'm coming into doubt that there's any sex linkage here. Okay, that's all I'll say about that. So here in the table, there's two phenotypes. One is red eyes. Some of those babies have red eyes. And some of them have sepia eyes, right? Or what they called SE. Okay, so number of males would be uh, red-eyed males was 381. Uh, Sepia-eyed males is 138. Female, uh, female sepia is 138. 128 and female red eye is 405. Everybody kind of getting what I'm doing? That's how you do this. <laughs> that's how you do a cross and that's how you put the data in. Okay. So now I've done all the mating that I needed to do for that cross and that cross is over. And now what, what's left to do is I'm not going to give the answers to these. I want you to figure those out. Um, the next step in each cross is to do a Punnett square, both for the parental cross, right, and, and the cross of the F1s that gave me that second generation, right? Um, so they, I'm asking you to use big R's and little R's to, to designate, like big R's for red eye, little r is for sepia eye. So if I'm going to... My parent cross is always pure, right? So my parent cross for my red-eyed females was this big R, big R, okay? 
and my sepia eyes was little r, little r, there. I'll tell you that. Now the F1 cross, you can't get until you fill these in, right? So remember that each gamete, these boxes are for the gametes here, and so are these. But female gametes is going to be big R and big R, aren't they? And then my male uh, gametes will be little r and little r because of the law of segregation, right? And then you fill these in, right, with the offspring. And then these offspring become the parents up here. They become the parents up here. Their gametes go here. And then the final cross goes here. I don't want to do that for you. I think you can figure that out, OK? And then the final part to all this is that eventually you have to, uh, excuse me, let me move this over. The final part, the analysis, is called a chi-square analysis. And that is what I'm going to allow um, Mr. Anderson to talk with you about. Um, and I'm going to give you an example, chi-square analysis. It explains how to do it here. I'm also going to explain how to do it as well. And it gives you a table to, to work out um, whether, whether the data that you got with, with the flies that you crossed is a good fit for what you expected to get, okay? But that gives you an idea of how to maneuver through the fly um, website and how to put your data from the website into the tables, all right? So I'm going to stop recording this because that's all I wanted to show you with that. Oops.